90 Day Fiancé is one of TLC's most popular franchises, with the Mothership show currently airing its ninth season. Since 2014, viewers have seen countless long-distance couples attempting to make their relationship official by bringing their international fiancé on the K-1 visa. Similar to other reality shows, very few have gone the distance, and the fate of the couples on season 9 has yet to be fully revealed. Some moments in this latest season were downright hilarious, such as Jibri splitting his pants before picking up Serbian fiancé Mia from the airport. Other scenes were more subtle in their delivery. Users of Reddit were quick to voice their opinions on these less than outrageous but still funny moments. Missouri native Bilal went above and beyond to make his house immaculate upon the arrival of his fiancée Shaida. From Trinidad and Tobago, Bilal presents himself as a stylish real estate agent and a neat freak. With that being said, the audience noticed something rather odd in his preparation. Redditor Peppermint Jutsu saw those lemon pepper steppers all over that white rug. This seems to be a bit contradictory since Bilal considers himself an expert in cleanliness. Yet he did not take his shoes off upon entering the house. Venezuelan Guillermo, 23, and his Virginian fiancé Kara, 29, are amongst the most likable on 90DF Season 9. Despite a few obstacles, they do seem invested in one another. This rang especially true in scenes with more compassion and less melodrama. Kara decides to take her fiancé to the rodeo to cheer him up after learning of his older brother's passing. While touched by the gesture, this wasn't new territory for Guillermo. User Lady Death Striker found Guillermo declaring this wasn't his first rodeo over a literal rodeo cracked me up. New Jersey native Ariella Ari, 30, and her Ethiopian fiancé Binyan Bini, 31, are the only returning couple this season. They had previously starred in seasons 2 and 3 of 90 Day Fiancé the other way. Before progressing to the main show, Ari's attire during a daytime date had viewers scratching their heads. Redditor Rassle Frassel was dying at the sparkly top in PJ's Pancake House. Ari seemed very overdressed for going to a pancake house in the middle of the day, donning a leather jacket over a cocktail dress. While unusual, at least the outfit was a complete look. Egyptian Mohammed, 25, and New Mexico resident Eve, 48, seem to be at constant odds. They have greatly contrasting views of religion and future plans, with many fans thinking this 90-day fiancé couple has red flags and will ultimately not make it down the aisle. Upon Mohammed's request, Eve bought him a bidet for her bathroom. The couple started bickering in front of the plumber, as Mohammed didn't want Eve to be alone with another man since it goes against his Islamic views. The plumber found some amusement, as one user pointed out how he was loving the tea. Most interesting day on the job ever. Previews for a show's upcoming episode are compiled from the best clips. They contain a variety of scenes ranging from romantic to ridiculous. Oftentimes, a fight is thrown in to increase the drama factor. Series star Jibri Bell makes his dreams a reality by recording with a renowned music producer. Unfortunately, he gets into a physical altercation with bandmate and best friend David. With one of the band members donning an astronaut helmet intervening, user KP1088R thought Space Cash trying to break up the fight was downright hilarious. Talk about a real space cowboy. Brazilian Thais and her Texan fiancé Patrick have been at odds almost since her arrival to the United United States. One of their main arguing points has revolved around finances. Coming to a head at a furniture store. What they didn't know was that the salesman's suggestion of buying a vase would stand out to fans. Some fans found humor in the placement of the vase throughout Thais and Patrick's segments. Redditor Shannon1234 says that the $38 vase in the foreground of all these shots is killing me. In its subtlety, this 90-day Easter egg is quite funny. No matter the production, editing is a key factor. Over the years, some past reality stars have attributed editing to their television portrayals. Other times, it can create some major continuity issues. One such occurrence happening to Ari when she decided to switch up her look. Related, 10 90 Day Fiancé cast members with incredible tattoos during a braiding session at a beauty salon. Ari's hairstyle kept switching in every frame. User Laborious Revelry thought it was hilarious how Ari's hair keeps changing from one braid, two braids, no braids. Overall, this makes the scene's tone look inconsistent despite the heavy conversation between Ari and Beanie. Kansas native Emily and her African fiancé Kobe have become one of the most talked about couples of the season. Fans have expressed their disdain towards Emily's numerous actions and treatment of her fiancé. Viewers haven't been the only ones to notice her behaviors. While trying on wedding dresses, Emily flaunted the engagement ring she bought for herself. Having been dissatisfied with Kobe's original selection, user party inspector took note of the family's reactions, saying Emily's family's faces when she pulled out the ring. Her grandma hates her. Such a move ranks up there with some of the worst decisions made in 90 Day Season 9. Meeting a significant other's friend group can be enjoyable or nerve-wracking, sometimes both. In the case of Muhammad and 
Eve. It was the latter. Upon meeting Eve's squad, they bombarded Muhammad with offensive comments and questions ranging in topics from sexuality to religion. Related, 10 unexpected businesses started by 90 Day Fiancé cast members feeling guilty. Eve's friends attempt to make peace with Muhammad, but he wasn't having any of it and let her friends know he still doesn't like them. User MD28 USN found humor in the reaction of Eve's friends, saying the expression on their stupid faces was priceless. One of the biggest milestones in a couple's relationship is meeting each other's parents. It usually becomes a validation or breaking point depending on the outcome. Although, when Ta'i Smith Patrick's mom and sister, viewers were distracted by something else. Patrick's mother Paula was donning rather garish makeup for this meeting. It's safe to say that this was an eyesore for viewers. User Glossy Glam thought mom looks like she got her makeup done by the undertaker on Always Sunny. Softer tones would have subdued the look but would also reduce the unintentional hilarity. Thank you.